Hello there. The summer holiday season is in full swing and if you have plans for the weekend, well, it looks likely that the weather is going to behave itself. It will be largely dry, sunny and pretty warm. Now, we have got a little bit of rain clearing away from the south and east as we speak. And this area of low pressure to the far northwest, that's at risk of driving in a few isolated showers, chiefly to the northwest of the Great Glen and here a brisk wind with it as well. But elsewhere, a lot of sunshine. Any early morning residual cloud will ease away from the Kent coast the sunshine breakthrough and temperatures should peak between 15 and 20 degrees in the north, highs of 25 in the south. That comes at a cost if you are a hay fever sufferer. Certainly across England and Wales, we are likely to see high pollen levels through Friday afternoon. But as we go into the start of the weekend, we'll have clear skies across England and Wales. Still a bit more of a breeze and a few isolated showers to the far northwest. But that means during the early hours of Saturday morning, under those clear skies, temperatures will fall away to single figures in a few spots. So a slightly fresher, more comfortable night for sleeping. But we've got high pressure building in from the south and west, quietening things down. Again, that low to the far north could still drive in just one or two isolated showers. But on the whole, it's a dry picture for many of us through the weekend. We will be chasing cloud amounts around, particularly with that southwesterly wind, some cloud lapping onto west-facing coast. Here, not quite as warm, but these temperatures are where they should be, really, for this time of year, ranging generally from mid-teens in the north to the mid-twenties in the south. Then on Sunday, scattered showers are likely to be uh, continuing into the far north and west, maybe one or two through the Irish Sea. Very fleeting, few and far between. We keep the sunshine for most. And once again, if you are planning any outdoor activities, the weather should behave itself. Then into next week, there is a potential for weather fronts to push its way into the far northwest. Just how much rain we'll have in the southeast corner is really subject to question. Here is where we're likely to see the driest of the weather, but a little more unsettled further north and west. And as a result, not quite as warm. Take care. Bye bye.